Hello everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video on the Sailor Y2K channel. Today I'm redesigning an old franchise that I used to love when I was younger. If you don't know this franchise, I will be talking about Littlest Pet Shop. According to Wikipedia, Littlest Pet Shop is a franchise owned by Hasbro that was started off in the early 2000s. The brand consisted of these little figurines that were bobblehead animals. And they were a huge part of my childhood and a lot of the other childhoods of my peers. I'm not talking about the newer stuff because there was a TV show, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about specifically the Littlest Pet Shops that started off in the early 2000s. Everyone had these little toys and there were like DS games and shows and movies and all of this great stuff. Growing up, I'd watch a lot of videos about these figures on YouTube. But that brings me to the topic of today's video. Today, I wanted to draw how I'd imagine these Littlest Pet Shops if they were humans. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I've already designed them in my sketchbook. I drew pictures of how I think they would look in my sketchbook. But I am going to put these onto IBS Paint and I will be making digital versions of these so that they can look nicer and I can have a nice little spreadsheet and it'll just be easier. So I'm gonna scan these and then finish working on it digitally. Okay, so let's start off with the first LPS that I decided to draw. Now this LPS, I had her as a child. So this was one of the littlest pet shops that I got for the first time. She was part of a collector's kit and she came with a bunch of other littlest pet shops. So basically, I had her with a bunch of other Littlest Pet Shops. It was a collector's pack that I had gotten for Christmas. I was, I think I was like around five years old, like if I remember it clearly. But yeah, so she came with a bunch of other little pets. And I always remember that she was the, I always made her the shy girl. So she was always this really shy, timid, but like calm and level-minded, level-headed girl. She was always very quiet and she was always in her own world, minding her own business. And that's why I decided to give her a sweater and she just seemed very fluffy to me. So I wanted to give her pigtails. This is how the final design came out. Okay, this next LPS that I'm talking about was one that I was absolutely obsessed with. I wanted this one so bad. I never had her, but if you don't know much about Littlest Pet Shops, this one was so incredibly expensive because she was really rare. And I always remember thinking, oh my goodness, this is the prettiest Littlest Pet Shop that I've ever seen. She had this eyeliner on and she looked so dark and mysterious. And this is honestly how I'd imagine her as a human, like with her eyeliner and her long, elegant hair. And I really like the highlights that I added on her personally. I love the way that it blended into her hair. And I was thinking of giving her some silver hoops because I feel like that really fit her vibe. The silver hoops and the, the dark eye makeup. This next one, I also really wanted him. But I never got him because he's also one that's really rare. For some reason, I always imagine these types of characters, especially all of the boy looking LPS. I always was like, oh, this these types of dogs, they're football players. Because isn't this dog just kind of built like a football player? It was always the Great Danes that I was like, oh, that one's a boy. And then the Collies, like some of them were girls and some of them were, I was like, oh yeah, those are boys. It's probably because of the show Littlest Pet Shop popular, LPS popular, but yeah, that's how I imagine this one. This one. Oh my goodness, this was one of my favorite Littlest Pet Shops. I remember I had a Littlest Pet Shop 3DS game, a little game on my Nintendo 3DS, and it was a coloring page, and it was that exact Littlest Pet Shop with the little swirl on her head, and she's so pretty. She was always so pretty to me. I have one of her, I have an LPS of her, but she's, it's a fake LPS, because the originals are actually really expensive. Like, if you go and look at the prices of them now, they're incredibly rude, like incredibly expensive. But yeah, this is how I'd imagine her. Like I always imagine the Dash Hounds being like super pretty and having really fluffy hair. So that's what I decided to give her, just really fluffy hair. 
So for this next one, I wanted to show my process of me illustrating them from the beginning. So what I did with all of these is I drew them first in my sketchbook and then I scanned them and put them into my phone to draw them. But I wanted to show the process of me because I felt like it's... I want to just make commentary about my design choices and it's just slow it down and really just show what I am what's going through my mind as I'm designing these characters. So this Littlest Pet Shop was another one that was incredibly expensive. She, I actually used to have her. I don't know what, um, I don't know what happened to her. I think I might've traded her away, but I don't have her anymore. I don't know, I don't remember. I don't remember her number. All Littlest Pet Shops are given a number, but I do not remember the number that she was. So I always imagined her as a dirty blonde so like she had blonde hair but it wasn't completely platinum blonde it was like this dirty blonde color like sort of brownish and i always imagined her with blue eyes and she was always this type of girl that loves to be outside and she always loved to just be with animals and she's just a really kind and caring girl so the picture that i have here had um her in a blue dress and a pink and a blue bow so i was like hmm i think that that would be such a cute outfit for her so i decided to give her that as well um on my drawing but i also if i didn't have this picture if i had a different picture without her wearing any outfit i think i would have given her a tank top with like a braid in her hair and like some denim shorts and like either some white converse or some cowboy boots like she seems like the type of girl that would live either on a farm or like close to a farm but the way i kind of drew her looks like she's like she's a katy perry fan like she looks like she listens to katy perry and it's so cute honestly she has this blue dress and i feel like i feel like i replicated her in human style very well her energy is very 2010s. This is the type of drawing that I see in the 2010, 2020, oh my goodness, 2010s. This type of aesthetic reminds me of the older times in the late 2010s. And then this next one that I'm drawing right now, oh my goodness, this one is my absolute favorite. So I actually used a reference from Pinterest for this one just for the face but oh my goodness this one is so so adorable and i really love how she turned out at first i had to erase that face a bunch of times because it wasn't that symmetrical but i went back and fixed it so basically this is me coloring her in the eyes and oh my goodness i love not coloring her in i mean sketching her but I wanted to give her ears because she's just this cute little mouse girl. And I was like, oh my goodness, I know that none of the other characters I drew, I drew them with ears. But I really wanted to give her some ears because they just look adorable. And I remember having a mouse that was similar to this one. It wasn't this exact mouse, but I did have ones that were similar. And oh my goodness, it is the most like adorable little figure that I've ever seen she's so cute and i posted her on tiktok and a lot of people were like oh my gosh you should add one make another one with buck teeth because i did show her teeth in this picture but i didn't really show the buck teeth and oh my goodness i just uh, she just looks so cute i wanted to give her like this tiny little party dress because i wanted to keep up the theme of late 2000s and i feel like in the late 2000s a lot of people wore this type of dress and I just think it's so cute like she's wearing this little party dress and i feel like her she'd be this really petite girl she'd be really petite really petite and short and i feel like her voice would be really squeaky and she'd just be very kind loving and energetic and she'd always be wanting to have a good time and just this really fun kind sweet girl and my favorite part about this drawing definitely has to be the ears omg those are so adorable and i just shaded in her hair and i i think it looks really good this one is my favorite out of all of the drawings that i've done in this video so far 
I think she's definitely my favorite. Now, this idea was not completely original because I remember watching these videos when I was younger. I always watched these types of videos when I was little. How Drawing littlest pet shops as humans, drawing LPS as people, and it's always been something that I've watched since I was younger and I haven't really seen anybody do that nowadays. It was mostly just in the late 2000s that people did that, like 10 years ago. But that really got me thinking. I was thinking about old videos I used to watch on YouTube and I was like, oh my goodness, I should totally do that challenge. Like, it's so fun and I think it, this was just so fun. And I honestly love redesigning things and putting my own creative interpretations onto different things. I think it's so creative and fun and I love using my creative perspective on things. But yes, this video was so fun to make. I really hope you enjoyed watching it just as much as I enjoyed making it. If you liked my art, please check out my YouTube channel because I have a lot more art content and a lot of more videos where I make videos similar to these and I also make sketchbook tours and I'm making one very soon, so stay tuned for that. But please like, comment, share, and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!